Adam, so yep. new question from Pro Dragon. Pro Dragon. Yeah. Pro Dragon Hi, says, Pro Dragon. Uh, yeah. how do you use uh, footwork? Yeah. Right. In a self-defense kind of uh, attack and defense. Well, like moving around, right? Moving around. Uh, how to train yeah. that? Yeah, I remember reading that question. Uh, when you're actually moving around, you're in a stance and you're moving around. It's really good. That's why it's a popular concept, right? Because when you're moving around, instead of being from a still position, you can actually overcome inertia and move a lot faster for your attack. Also, when you're moving around, you can read the guy's rhythm and set him up for different angles of attack. So it's really good. Same thing with counter, right? Once you catch the guy's footwork and timing when you're moving around, it makes countering him a lot easier. And plus, when you're moving around, you're creating a lot of space. So you're creating a lot of time, which means you have a lot more time to react to him, which is a lot safer. So it's really good, and that's why it's popular, right? But, um, so it's really good when you're sparring with your buddies. But for a self-defense situation, you wanna be careful. Because if I'm moving around and I'm creating time and space, right, and I'm creating distance, when I'm creating time for myself, I'm also creating time for him. So actually, one time I saw this happen, right, where a guy was in an argument with another guy. It was in the corner of Davey, actually, in Thurlow. And, um, <clears throat> The guy jumped into a stance moving around, creating a lot of distance, or maybe like, the guy jumped back until they were like that far away and he's moving around. Well, he made a mistake doing that, warning the guy, because the guy reached back. And I, I really thought it was going to be a knife or something, but luckily it was just a baton. And he ended up chasing the guy down the street. So it's kind of like, okay, say if I was in an argument with Chris and I start moving around, you draw whenever you want, right? And I move back, right? Well, it's easy for him to draw, right? It's good. Because I just gave him the time to do that. So it's good when you're sparring with your friends in the weekends or something, but for an actual self-defense situation, I think that's kind of crazy because you're giving him time to do stuff. Whereas it's better not to move around and stick on the guy, right? Like, uh, I'm gonna put in the helmet, Chris, real quick. Um, okay, so for example, right? Let's say, um, the helmet is my friend. Let's see if Chris tries to draw whenever he wants to win an argument. You draw, right? It's pretty hard to draw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hard to draw, even though I'm, I'm not going that quick, when there's pressure coming at you over and over again. Actually, but I should keep it on for a sec. That's why another popular concept to counter what I just did, a lot of times when people teach uh, gun and knife stuff, is they teach the guy they hit the guy first, right? And once they hit the guy, then they draw. That's a little bit smarter, and that's why it is a popular concept, right? But if Chris tries to do that, don't tell me how you're gonna hit me, right? So make it realistic, right? The result is pretty much the same, because he's thinking of a plan, right? I'm gonna hit and draw. So that's thinking, that's, that's what planning is. You're thinking of something. I'm not thinking about anything, I'm just feeling. And feeling is always faster than thinking, right? So that's not a good thing to do. You should stick on a guy. I think that's better than trying to move around. Now, when you're moving around though, you notice when I moved in on Chris, it's like, let's say Chris moves, right? You're moving on a guy, right? So when you're doing that, you gotta stay on him instead of moving around is what I'm saying. So the major takeaway for me is, whenever I come across popular concepts, like moving around, dancing, or putting your hand up and hitting a guy before you draw. Whenever I come across a popular concept, the first thing I do is I have to respect it. There's a reason why it's popular. There's a lot of good stuff to it. But at the same time, I want to look at the other side. There's always two sides. What's the weakness of it, right? Especially for a self-defense situation. So, but I kind of sidetrack. I didn't answer your question of how to move around. <laughs> I don't really do it, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't really bounce around when it's a real situation. I just want to get it over with, right? And the stuff I did earlier when I bridged Chris, this kind of stuff is really just off your push hands and sticking. That's what I mean by feeling. All the sticking drills, right? And that's in Tai Chi, Mantis, Wing Chun, Bagua Shin Yi, so many Kung Fu style with practice sticking. If you get any question, uh, please email us. I notice I talk a lot fast, so it might be a little bit confusing. Okay.